Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh and today in this video, I'm gonna show you some awesome mind-blowing tips and tricks on this all-new Oppo F7. It's a lower mid-range smartphone with awesome cameras but I found some crazy software features that will blow your mind. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, apart from the superb cameras, this Oppo F7 boasts of an edge-to-edge -edge display with a notch at the top and it's a standout feature of this smartphone. It's not only just for show, you can access to different actions and quick apps using the notch at the top. When using an app in landscape mode, swipe inwards the notch area to get access to three quick apps and actions. Several messaging apps like WhatsApp Messenger are supported and suppose you are playing a game and you want to record your gameplay, just click here, it will start recording the screen. It's as easy as that. There is no need to download any third-party software which are mostly infected and there are also options to take a screenshot and if you are gaming you don't want to get disturbed with on-screen or banner notifications so you can disable the notifications that are showing up on the screen with this option. So this is made for gaming. If you are planning on starting a YouTube gaming channel this might be great for you. For quick apps, when you get a new text on WhatsApp Messenger or WeChat, you can open the app in a pop-up and answer right away without hampering your game. Well, the feature I have just shown you is called full screen multitasking and if it's not enabled in your phone by default, look for this option under smart and convenient option in your settings menu. Now from here you can choose your three quick apps that is the messaging apps you want in your notch area and you can reorder these messaging apps as you wish. For quick functions you get these three options which I have already shown you. It's indeed an awesome feature on Oppo F7. Now to allow notch area display, just open any application from the app manager in your settings menu and enable the option or disable if you don't want this. The next feature I'm gonna talk about is called assistive poll. You can assign different tasks or different functions to this floating icon. Let me show you, for example, you can single click to go back and double tap for the app switcher to open any other application that are running in the background. You can also tap and hold for the home key that is to go to the home screen. So no need to reach out for the navigation keys at the bottom since it's a big display assistive ball is actually quite useful. Now instead of gesture operations you can also enable menus from this ball. Just go to your smart and convenient settings then assistive ball. Here you can assign navigation functions to different gestures and if you select the tap menu option you get access to two extra functions. Along with the navigation keys, you are getting this lock option that is you can lock the phone right away and the other option is to take a screenshot. There you go. In full screen apps, assistive ball can be hidden but you can get it back just by swiping from the edge. If you want assistive ball all the time on the screen, you can disable this option from the assistive ball settings. Now this is one of my favorite features of Oppo F7. As you can see the navigation keys are replaced by three small bars at the bottom. Now the display seems even bigger. To go back just swipe up from the bar at the right. There you go. It's as simple as that. You can also swipe up from the left bar. So swiping up from either corners at the bottom will take you to the previous screen and if you swipe up from the middle part, you can go back to the home screen. These functions are also customizable. I will show you that later. If you swipe up from middle and hold on the screen, you get the app switcher. I feel this feature is more ergonomic, more user friendly than the navigation switches. You will get used to this within a day. This is how you can utilize the whole display and the screen also looks cleaner. So I do recommend you this feature on your Oppo F7. Enable this from navigation key settings under smart and convenient. And I have enabled the first option which is I think more convenient but you can also check other gestures like with the simple gestures you can swipe up to go to home screen and swipe up and hold for the recent key 
and the simplest one is the number three or four where you have to just swipe up from the three bars for three different navigation keys you can switch the back keys if you are coming from samsung and if you wish you can hide the gesture bar at the bottom so there will be nothing at the bottom edge of the screen and there is a mistouch prevention option as well that is you have to swipe up twice for the gestures to work that is swipe once to activate the gestures and swipe again for the navigation keys now for typical on-screen navigation keys you can swap the back and the recent keys and the navigation bar can be hidden just by tapping on this downwards arrow to make the application access the whole screen this is somewhat different from the dot you have seen on other smartphones swipe up to pin the navigation bar on screen and click on the downwards arrow to hide now luckily on your oppo f7 you still have the 3.5 mm headphone jack oppo and direct research ab jointly developed a technology called real original sound which delivers original quality sound in full fidelity and creates a real high definition sound so make sure you enable this feature to get the best out of this smartphone so once you enable real hd sound you get different presets or equalizer options you can just swipe and set your preferred equalizer according to your test there is also a custom mode at the end for expert users now just below this real sound tech you are also getting an option called headphones monitor when turned on you can enjoy a live karaoke experience in real time through your headphones that is whatever you are singing in the microphone can be heard in your earphones if you are using a karaoke application then make sure you disable this headphones monitor now oppo f7 supports face unlock using the front facing camera and it works much better than i thought it works really really fast within a fraction of a second and in indoor lighting condition there is no issue with the face unlock so i do recommend you to try this feature it's really fun to enroll your face hold the phone 20 to 50 centimeter from your face and if you use glasses remove them for better scanning let me show you how does this work it doesn't take more than a second or two to enroll the face there is an option called raise to turn on the screen which is a must it makes the feature more convenient to use you can use the screen brightness to brighten your face in case of dim surroundings now face unlock is really really fast on oppo f7 it's one of the fastest i have seen as you can see it works within a fraction of a second let me just show you there you go oppo uses this facial unlock feature with the help of 128 recognition points on your face so it's instantaneous which makes it real fun now when your phone is resting on the table if you pick it up the screen will be turned on and also your front camera to scan your face and unlock the phone right away it's as easy as that in most of the devices it takes around a second or two but on oppo f7 it's instantaneous perfect without fail so i do recommend you guys to try this out but this feature might not be as secure as fingerprint scanner which is also damn fast one of the fastest i have ever seen now the fun part is you can use the facial unlock and the fingerprint scanner for unlocking your private safe and also your locked applications if you wish you can also disable this on the second part of this tips and tricks video i will show you how to lock your applications I can now unlock whatsapp with numerical password or my fingerprint now the thing is for numerical password it's actually different from your unlocking password but for biometrics it's the same as your lock screen password now guys let me show you some shorthand tricks since the display aspect ratio is 19 is to 9 some of the applications might not be enabled for full screen view so you can enable that from here or when you launch the apps or games you will get an option to tap for full screen view just like this so just tap here and let the application cover the whole display now at the top of the screen on the notch if you wish you can show the network speed which is quite handy when you are downloading something you can check whether network is working properly you can also enable battery percentage 
which is shown inside the battery icon. So just go to your settings menu and navigation and status bar. There you have the options. If you wish, you can also show data usage at the bottom of your notification bar. Under dual SIM and cellular settings, there is an option called data saving which is so handy guys. It can save considerable amount of mobile data by blocking the background applications from using the data and the foreground applications will also take data saving measures like if you are downloading an image, it will reduce the resolution and the size of the image. So this is indeed a very handy feature on Oppo F7. Well guys, we are at the end of part 1 of Oppo F7 tips and tricks videos. I am telling you guys, the second episode will be more interesting. Make sure you subscribe to Gadgets Portal if you don't want to miss that show. That's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day guys.